Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm kind of doing like a little uh, Christmas makeup haul try on video. I'm super excited about it. Um, I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. I did. <laughs> I got a bunch of really awesome stuff which I always do. They actually got me um, Final Cut Pro to edit my videos with so I'm super psyched about that. So by the time you're watching this video it will have been edited using that. So let me know if there's any differences in this video as far as that. <laughs> Hopefully I can figure it out. But yeah, um, I got that. Um, my dad got me this little like old school Nintendo type game. It kind of, um, it, it reminds me of like an Atari or whatever, but it has like 30 games programmed onto it. So that's pretty fun. Of course, my mom got me like a bunch of makeup, um, lashes that I absolutely am so excited to try. My Nana got me a bunch of cute stuff as always. She got me this scarf right here, if you can see. <laughs> All right, so yes, let's just get started. Some of the stuff I have already tried. They got it for me because they knew that I liked it or I was almost out of it. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so let me see here. I think I'm gonna start out. Um, I got like a little thing of the Tatcha Silk Canvas, which I'm excited about because I have heard amazing things about it and I've not been able to try it yet. Um, so this actually came in like a little uh, gift set. It came with like, I think it was a full size of the water cream, um, which I absolutely love that. And it came with the, what is it? It's the deep cleanse um, face wash in the little blue tube thing. Um, so yeah, I love both of those. I've tried them before, so I'm super, I'm happy that I have more of those. Um, but then this came in and I've not tried this one yet. So I'm not totally sure <laughs> on how to apply this, to be honest. Um, it's just in like a little like pan like this. So I think I'm just going to try to use my finger. I might zoom you guys in a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm just going to use like the pad of my finger. It looks super smooth. Feels nice. So what all did you guys get for Christmas? Comment down below and let me know some of the good stuff that you got. If you got any makeup or any other fun things. Oh, and the only thing that I had on my face um, prior to starting this was that I toned my face with witch hazel and then I put on some of the um, Kate Somerville oil-free moisturizer. So just so you know, that's all I had on my skin. This feels very good on the skin. It has that same Tatcha smell that all of her products have. So I just poke myself in the eyeball. <laughs> So I think you kind of have to like pat this into the skin because as I'm like, if I was like rubbing it in, it kind of, I don't know if you noticed, but it was like rolling off a little bit. So I think what you have to do with this is kind of just press it into your skin. All right. So good so far. It feels good. Let's see how it works underneath of my foundation. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to use is the, um, the Niod Photography Fluid. Um, this is something that I have been eyeballing in like almost all of Jamie Genevieve's uh, makeup tutorials because she uses this and it makes her skin look absolutely amazing. Um, my mom got this for me because she knew that I wanted it. Um, so let me see. It's basically, it's a highlighting system. So you can apply this to your face just like this and leave it on there and it'll kind of give you like a glowy effect to your skin. Or you can put it under liquid foundation um, to balance out unders undesirable color tones and skin imperfections. Um, this formula can also be mixed with other products for a subtle hue correction. So this is the box and I actually really like how it comes out because this little bit slides. If I can get it. It like slides out and then there's the bottle. So this is the bottle right here and then when it comes out let me see. Oh, it says more. An advanced colorless priming fluid that uses next generation nano prismatic particles to refract light and balance out undesirable hues. Contains technologies to make skin appear better, specifically in photographs, which I am excited about. Okay, so there is that and you can tell my face is super glowy and if I was not broken out in these places here I would probably I will wear this when my skin is actually behaving Because <laughs> I really like look at this glow that it just gave my face hmm. Is it weird that when I get new makeup products? I always like put them back in the boxes for a certain amount of time <laughs> I don't know. I just like to keep them new for as long as I can. All right, so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. So I'm just priming my eye with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, as I always do. 
and I've actually been putting this primer like underneath like right along my lower lash line and even like on the inner corner just because I feel like sometimes underneath of my eye it can kind of like fade like my eyeshadow fades underneath of there a little bit easier than it does on top um, so just putting a little bit of primer underneath of there kind of helps it to stay a little bit longer. Okay, so now I am going to try out the Bare Minerals The Hidden Treasure palette. Uh, Miss Emma, my little sister, picked this out for me from TJ Maxx and got it for me for Christmas. So I am excited to give this a try. It has like a lot of neutrals in it. It is a very pretty palette. So it looks like this. There's a big old mirror in it, which is awesome. And then let me not blind you guys with the mirror here <laughs> and so yeah there's like a wide range of just neutrals in here um so yeah let's just give it a try emma picked this out all by herself and i'm very proud of her because it's gorgeous <laughs> okay so on my cali 415 brush i'm going to use i think um the number two shade ecru i think is how you say it so it's that one right there and i'm going to use that one as my transition shade i swatched some of these colors last night and they're like super soft and buttery. I'm also just gonna run it under my eye. Okay, so then now on my Morphe M3 M535 brush, I'm gonna take the shade, it's the 11th shade, um, Queen Tiffany Matte, and it is that one right there. And I'm gonna start to buff that one into my crease area. Okay, so then I'm going to switch brushes over to my Morphe M506 brush right here, and I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use the shade Good Spirits. It's the 12th shade. It is right there. And I'm going to start to buff that one kind of into like a little bit lower where I place that than where I placed that one, and then kind of on the outer corner here. I'm actually going to switch brushes. Um, I'm going to switch over to my Japanesque 230. I have to get the red eyeshadow off of it from Christmas time. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to switch over to this one to use that Good Spirits on my outer corner of my lid just because I feel like that Morphe one was just a bit too small. Okay, so now back on my Morphe M506, I'm going to grab the shade Boardroom, which is this deep brown right here. And I'm going to buff that one into the very outer corner of my eye here. Okay, so now I'm just going to work backwards a bit. So back to my Morphe 535 brush, I'm going to grab more of that Good Spirits. And I'm just going to run that in the crease here. And then I'm going to take more of that Queen Tiffany matte shade. And then just taking more of that Ecru shade and blending everything else out. Okay, so then now on my little MAC shadow brush right here, I'm gonna take the shade, I think I'm gonna grab Gemstone, which is the 10th shade. These are all numbered, by the way, that's why I keep saying like numbers. <laughs> so it's that one right there, and it's just kind of like a shimmery, like champagne color. And I'm going to pat that onto the empty spot on my lid here. And then I'm actually going to tap the shade Stellar, which is that one right there. Just kind of on the line in between those two shades, just to kind of like help blend that light kind of pinky into that dark brown. Alright, so then now on my Morphe M506 brush again, I'm going to take more of that Queen Tiffany matte shade right there, and I'm going to run that one along my lower lash line. Just making sure to connect it to the shadow on the top. I'm just going to use a fan brush to dust off any fallout. And then on my Morphe E24 brush, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of the Pearlescence Coconut Rose um, Face Mist, just to wet the bristles. And then I'm going to use some of the shade Nude Beach, which is that one right there. And I'm going to pop that one on the inner corner of my eye. I'm actually also going to, I'm going to mix that with a little bit of... Um, what is this? With the shade um, Curtsy, which is white right here, but it has like a light shimmer to it. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and just pop that over top of that. I 
I've been liking really bright inner corners lately. <laughs> Okay, so then now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with the True Beauty Eyelash Curler. It's so cute, look at it. It's all blingy. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. This color is so bright in my eyeball. <laughs> the light hitting it is like neon. I like it. It's very springy, I like that. Okay, so that also came with a little thing of volumizing mascara. I'm not sure how good it's going to be just because I don't recognize the brand, but we'll give it a try. We'll top it with another one if it's not great. Oh, it's little. It's a cute little brush. And I am going to go ahead and top my lashes with another one just because I feel like that one didn't do enough, but it's fine because this was like the main part of the box and I love this. <laughs> um, so this was also in my stocking because my mom knows this is my absolute favorite mascara. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, open this up and top my lashes with this one there we go that's better don't you hate when you go to scrape some of the mascara off your face and you find out that one spot was not fully dry yet okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes um which i got some more of the lily lashes in mykonos which i already love so i don't think i'm gonna use these ones today just because i want to try the other kind that i got here um but i'm super happy that i have more of these um, so today I'm actually going to try some of the velour lashes in what kind are these in flawless That's the style and they look like this right here So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on and I'm also going to go ahead and do my uh, foundation off camera just because it's not new um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline dream liquid mousse uh, foundation. I've just been using this one lately um, And I will be right back <laughs> Alright guys, so we are looking a little crazy right now. So I went ahead and put on the Velour Lashes and went ahead and did my uh, foundation. I literally look like a member of like My Chemical Romance right now. <laughs> I'm so pale and my eyes are so dark right now. So I also went ahead and covered any blemishes on my face using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye um, Concealer. My Nana got me two tubes of this because it's so amazing and I love it. I'm constantly stealing my mom's because it's just so good. Um, so now I have have two tubes of it so yes I've used this before that's why I didn't film it and then I went ahead and, and set my face using the Maybelline fit me uh, loose powder right here all right so the next thing I'm gonna use is the I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face using the physicians formula butter bronzer which I have already used this one too and I absolutely love it um, I've been out of it so I've been using the Elizabeth Arden bronzers but I am extremely excited that I have more of this now <laughs> So it just looks like this and it smells like heaven oh my goodness it has what is it muru muru butter in it oh, i don't know what that is but it smells so freaking good i could just sit here and sniff this bronzer all day mm. but i'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face with just um a bh cosmetics brush Oh, I also, after I put these lashes on, I just dabbed like a little tiny bit of mascara just on the very tips. Um, I didn't want to cover the whole lashes because I don't want to like shorten their lifespan basically. Um, but I did want the lashes to kind of show a little bit more. So I just kind of dabbed a little bit right along the points. I feel like the priming of my face, I don't know whether it was the Tatcha or the um, Nyad primer. Um, I kind of want to use them both separately just because... I don't know I just want to try them separately <laughs> um but whatever I did but it, it like for some reason made my foundation look more full coverage than it is like through here it's way more coverage than I normally have with that Maybelline foundation but it doesn't feel like overly heavy or anything okay so then next I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face um I got my nana got me another one of these sheer sculpting palettes from Fiona Styles I absolutely love this I've been using it like crazy lately um I'm gonna go ahead and give my mom the other one because she wants to try it out so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up and go ahead and use it um it is in the light medium shade also and it just looks like this it comes with a little brush like this um, which I actually had been using. I already have one of these, but I was actually using it to just kind of bronze the sides of my nose. Um, I'm not going to use it today just because I want to use another brush. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Bamboo Naturals little contour brush that I always use to contour. And I'm just going to work the colors up. So I'm just going to work from the lightest to the darkest. And I always just use the tip of the brush too. Makes it easier to get kind of that chiseled cheekbone look. 
And then I'm going to switch over to my Sephora Pro Cream Shadow number 28 brush. And I'm going to use that one to contour my nose. All right, and then I didn't get this for Christmas, but I am going to go ahead and use the shade uh, Banana in the Anastasia Light to Medium Contour Kit, which is just that one. And I'm going to use that one to blend out the edges of my bronzer and contour. And this is just a BH Cosmetics brush. I'm not sure of the number because it's rubbed off. <laughs> And then I'm going to use Vanilla, which is just that lightest one there with uh, no sparkles in it. Just to, like, I kind of put it, like, right in the center of my forehead. Um, just to brighten up, like, certain places of my face. And I always put it just, like, right here. Just underneath, like, the furthest part of my contour. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, and then on this little brush that I have no idea what it is, I got it at TJ Maxx and it has zero name on it. I'm going to take my Milani uh, blush in Romantic Rose and I'm just going to blush up my face. Bring a little bit more color back. <laughs> and I always put it just on the tip of my nose here. And today I think I'm actually going to use my Champagne Pop um, highlighter from Becca. I haven't used this in a while and I always love it when I haven't used it in forever and then I come back to it. And I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and my Morphe M510 brush to highlight. You see what I mean? I just, this is just an amazing highlighter and I don't know why I ever stop using it. I think it's because I get like so, like so excited about other highlighters that I go and move on to them. But it's just every single time I come back to this one, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Geller um, Ink Credit, yeah, Ink Credible, it's like ink, uh, waterproof gel liner in brown sugar just to bring back my little freckles because I've been doing that religiously lately. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get the foundation off of my lips because it's driving me insane and I'm just gonna use a simple makeup wipe. There we go. There's more color back to my face. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I don't have any new brow products. I'm just going to be using the Anastasia um, Brow Definer in Chocolate uh, and I will be right back. Alright, so brows are done, and I am going, oh, I also put some of the Champagne Pop um, highlighter just on my brow bone and kind of tied it together with my highlight. Um, so now I'm just going, I'm just going to throw on the Morphe Lip Gloss in Flower Crown, which I didn't get this for Christmas, but I actually did get my mom one of these for Christmas because I liked it and so did she. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw this one on my lips. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with the Coconut Rose Face Mist from Pearlescence and then set my face with the last little bit of the Iconic London uh, Face, the Prep Set and Glow Spray that I have here. Alright guys, so this is the finished look right here. Um, so far, everything is good. Um, I really liked the eyeshadow. Go Emma. <laughs> it was a good pick. Um, I feel like everything blended really nicely and it was like a really good assortment of natural colors. Um, obviously I love the butter bronzer. I love the Fiona Styles contour kit and the It Cosmetics concealer. I've used all of those before and I love them. Um, oh and the Mega Plush Mascara. Um, this worked really nicely to curl my lashes. I liked this from True Beauty. The Velour lashes are gorgeous. Um, I didn't have any issues putting them on. They're very pretty. Um, and as far as the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas and the Niod Photography Fluid, I want to try them separately. I really like them today, but I am looking forward to like seeing them both just by themselves. Um, so yes, I will have like future uh, updates on both of these products, but today it's good. Okay guys, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.